all and welcome to Discovery Days. My name is Linda Rosa. I know I'm a little bit different from Bradley, but that's okay. Um, and we want to go ahead and thank our free family fund sponsor, the Chickasaw Nation. And um, we are going to just get started. Uh, and we are also the Oklahoma Hall of Fame, and we tell Oklahoma story through its people. Um, and today's person is Muriel H. Wright. Um, and Muriel Wright was born in the Choctaw Nation in Indian Territory in 1889. She taught and served as a principal in several schools in Oklahoma. Dr. Wright participated in the Choctaw Tribal Affairs. She focused on her work on the culture of various Indian tribes of Oklahoma. She was a historian by trade and is known for her work with the Oklahoma Chronicles. And today's book is going to be Me One. Um, and so I'm going to switch over my screen for y'all. New share. And we are going to begin reading this book. So we have the Me Want Pet. <clears throat> Cave Boy had lots of feeling, or had lots of things. Rocks, sticks, a club, but no pet. Me sad, said Cave Boy, want pet. Cave Boy went to find one. He searched near and far until a woolly mammoth. Cave Boy rode woolly home. Me want pet, a grunted mama. He too big, where he sleep. Cave Boy gave woolly a hug. Me wish you could stay, pal. Then Cave Boy tried again. He searched high and low until a saber-toothed tiger. Cave Boy and Toothy raised home. Me want pet. A chuga sneezed Papa. Make me sneeze. No can stay. Cave Boy and Toothy sighed. Me sorry, buddy. But Cave Boy did not give up. He searched across grasslands, over seas, and through forests. Ooga, a baby dodo bird. Poor baby, said Cave Boy. No mama. Anywhere. Wah, wah. No, too big, no sneeze, me want pet. A uh, grunted grand, no can keep, he no potty train. Cape boy groaned and turned to dodo. Me so sad. Just then, ground shook. Stampede, yelled mama. What we do, called papa. Take cover, hollered grand. Gaga. -ga. Dodo! No! Cape boy to the rescue. With a little help from his friends. You got, cheered the family. Cape boy. Had lots of things, rocks, sticks, a club, but Cave Boy did not have one pet. Cave Boy had three. Ooga. All right, guys, so we are going to be making our own pet today. And so for the August 10th craft kit, you are going to want to go ahead and pull out your items. And I have googly eyes and some glue dots. So you're going to need three glue dots or a glue stick, paper. Feathers and googly eyes. So here are my googly eyes and feathers. And at the time of recording this video, a lot of you should be going back to school soon. So you get to make a little pencil topper uh, for your uh, pencils for school. So the first thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to take uh, my um, pipe cleaners and I'm going to begin wrapping them around the eraser bit of my pencil. And you can wrap it. And I have a problem of wrapping it too tight. So you might want to wrap it a little bit looser than I do. Because every time I wrap them, I'm unable to get my feathers in. And you'll see what I mean by that in just a moment. But we have all different colors of pipe cleaner in your kits. I just made one that was pink, which is really adorable. And I'll show you what that looks like in a moment. But yeah, just keep wrapping up your uh, your pipe cleaner, and you don't have to use all of what you have. I'm going to use three for mine right now, uh, but you can use just two for the other crafts I made. I actually only used two, so and I'll show you those in a moment. Um, yeah, there is my pipe cleaner, and so take a moment to finish wrapping yours up. And I'll give you a nice little example of what I meant by this is what you'll end up with. So now we are going to go ahead and stick your feathers in. So I'm going to begin by, since I didn't do it as tightly as I did the first couple of times, I should be able to stick it in there a little bit easier. Ah. I'm going to loosen it up even more for me because apparently I didn't learn the first two times. 
Awesome. So shove that in and just keep putting your feathers in until you have either used all of your feathers or all of the feathers that you want to use. Because I'm not going to make you use all of your feathers if you don't want all of them. Perfectly fine just to use one or two. But I really like all the colors. Mine looks like a bird of paradise. Or a paradise bird? No, I think it's bird of paradise. And I just broke like my little bottom of the feather so she's not going in as easy. That's okay. Oh, there we go. We got it. So once you have your feathers on, we can start working on the face of your bird. So I only have a Sharpie, but I'm assuming you probably have a pencil or a crown. And you can go ahead and draw a little triangle. And so this little triangle is going to serve as your beak. So you're going to want to go ahead and cut out your little triangle, either with the help of the guardian, or if you've got it yourself, you can do it yourself. So there is my little bit of a triangle, and I'm going to, I want it smaller, so I'm going to cut mine smaller. And there is my little beak. And so now you've got eyes and a beak. And so you're going to take your uh, glue dots, and you are going to glue your eyes and your beak down. There is one eye. Two eyes. Ooh, maybe. Yep. Two eyes. And finally, we get to glue on the beak. And there is the beak for our bird of paradise. And so this is your final product. It's a pretty easy, um, pretty easy craft to make. And I just ripped off one of my eyes because, you know, a little oonga boonga over here. Um, but here is your bird. And I have two other examples. So I have a pink one. And then I also have a more neutral tone of bird. Yeah, these are all the examples of how you can make this. And we are excited to see what you guys end up making. So uh, thank you for coming to our discovery days and hopefully we'll see you next week.